morning. Now the project is going to get really exciting because you're going to be able to see your design start to take shape. As we remove the skin with the saber tooth burr, it's really going to start to stand out and look spectacular. Here we go. All right, I'm about to go to town with this Dremel. Here's our gourd. It's looking good. And here is the bit that we're going to be using. This is a saber tooth flame. And this thing is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you just now for a little bit. It's going to be a little bit noisy, so I'll show you a little bit what it does, and then I'm going to turn the video off so I'm not ruining your hearing as well. Okay, you can see from that that I can get into the tiniest, tiniest little spots. And so this is probably going to be at least an hour, maybe two or three hours of carving to go around each of these areas. I've got a friend joining me. Hi, Jasper. Hi, you here to, here to be on TV as well? Yeah. Good kitty. <laughs> so Jasper always likes to come out and see what I'm doing, especially when I'm talking to you. So there you can see just how tight you can get in. You can get into the smallest little spot. Like I said, this is the saber tooth and this one is called the flame for the shape. And they have some other types as well. Hi, Jasper. Hi. They have some other grits that are different colors. The green is about the coarsest you want to go. I think after that there's a yellow, which might be even coarser. There might be an orange. And the green is probably the one you want to stick with. This is going to be about the right coarseness for the gourd. And I'm just going to be taking all the skin off. It's going to take a couple hours, I think. Okay, I'm going to tell you my technique. So my technique is I start out with my right hand and I go across the cord like this, everything I can do from the right. Then I'll flip it over and do it again, everything I can do from the right. That way I don't have to keep switching up and down, up and down, up and down. So that's my time-saving technique. I've got, let's see, I don't know, maybe... 15 minutes in. I've got another half hour I can work on it, so we'll see how much progress I make in a half hour. That was 15 minutes, and I have about 15 more minutes of daylight I can use, so I went right-handed all the way around the one way, and then I went right-handed around the other way, and then I'll fill in the really detailed spots I'm going to save for tomorrow until I've got a lot better light out here. I am not wearing a respirator at the moment because with the breeze, it's taking everything completely away from me, and I'm actually ending up with not that much dust. This saber tooth burr is really nice because it doesn't jump around and because it has got the knobs all over it, it doesn't drag. Like you can go forward and backward with it without too much problem. And I meant to tell you that the other reason that I go from side to side to side is because as the time wears on, there's a possibility that you might actually dig in deeper at some point or be going a little bit lighter. And this way you spread out whatever's going on. And also if I pick this up tomorrow, because it's so random, if I'm digging a little bit deeper tomorrow, it's not really going to be all that noticeable because it's not going to be just in one side of the gourd. So that's why you kind of go back and forth. And I can hear a dog out there saying 15 minutes till dinner time. So I'm going to go about 15 minutes more, fill in the holes, and then I'm done for the evening. I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting pretty dark out here. So this is the end of my carving for this evening. And another reason to go right to left and then left to right is because your wrist might make sort of semicircles. And so if you go one way and then the other, then you'll have opposing semicircles and maybe they'll cancel each other out. So I don't know if you can really tell, but I haven't taken out a lot of the detail in between the reeds. I want to wait and do that during the daylight when I've got a lot better light and the light is just going pretty quickly here. It is 515 and it's getting pretty dark out. So I'll wait and do that tomorrow and this tomorrow. So I would say I've got about 45 minutes of carving in. I have at least 15 minutes more to do the detail here and at least 30 minutes on the front and we should be done. Now that we've got the majority of the skin taken off with the Dremel and the saber tooth burr, I'm going to switch the saber tooth burr over to my master carver and do some real fine tuning in the really small spaces once I've let my hands relax, got a little bit of rest, and ready to look at it with a critical eye again. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're finding this a lot of fun. I hope your gourd's going really well. I've got links below to everything we've used so far. And please subscribe so you get notifications of each of the videos. It means a whole lot to me. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!